welcome everyone to another installment of the Cape Kitchen. I am your culinary comic book guy, Cape Joel, and on today's show, this most American of days, we are going to be making Captain America's Freedom Waffles. Ah, ah, it makes me feel so good, you know. I mean, a a as a Canadian, m my day, my Canada day was just a few days ago, but you know, I wanted to spend the 4th of July with you guys because, well, in case you didn't know, I've been talking about it all over social media, but I have me an actual Captain America waffle maker. In fact, it's preheating right now, so I don't want to touch it because it's really hot. But when we're done, you're going to be able to serve piping hot Captain America shield waffles. Now, for this recipe, you're going to need all these ingredients. I'll be sure to pop them up on screen right here. I have also been working on this recipe before we started. It takes a lot of prep work, actually. Uh, you're going to need uh, some mix. For one, uh, you're going to need some mix, either waffle mix or pancake mix. That was the trouble that actually stopped me up. I had proper waffle mix before, and it did a good job, but then I only had Aunt Jemima left. Yep, we're, we're cooking with the ant today, everybody. I only had Jemima's left, and because it's pancake mix, it ended up being a lot lighter in consistency and a lot less cakey, so I kind of had to I kind of had to mess around with the ingredients a little bit. But you're going to want to start with about a cup, cup and a quarter of your dry mix one egg, a uh, cup of milk, and uh, I, I this is where I actually started messing around with it. I added oil, but more than oil, what I added was my own special ingredient. If you've ever been baking with me, I think every chef has their own thing. You know, Epic Mealtime has their bacon. Paula Dean has, you know, butter and racism. Me, I add vanilla. That's Cape Jewel's thing. If ever I'm baking anything and I have an excuse to add vanilla to it, I add vanilla to it. So you're gonna wanna mix all that together, I was sure to pick a nice clear bowl so you can see. I've already pre-mixed, I'm already covered in shit, and I already got my nice Captain, or I already got my nice uh, Iron Man apron already covered trying to work on this for you. But when you're done, you want a nice consistency like this, a nice, you know, thick consistency. You don't want it too runny. Because, you know, waffles are basically cake is what they are, and they're American as all hell. There's nothing more American than a nice Belgian waffle. So when you get all that mixed together, you want this sort of consistency to it. And then we're going to be able to pile it on into the waffle iron. In fact, I'm going to do something amazing here. I'm going to switch camera angles, and I'm going to show you the waffle iron so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we got a nice waffled eye view now of the Captain America Freedom Waffles waffle maker. And, uh, isn't she beautiful? This, this is the sort of stuff you can afford when you're a somewhat notable comic book guy online. Now, I already have it plugged in. The important thing about this recipe is you need to preheat your waffle iron, whatever you're doing. I have also spread the iron down with some non-stick cooking stuff in this case Pam Pam does not sponsor the show but maybe if I mention them enough they will so once you got it all ready to go you can start slopping on in your mixture your mixture that we saw before so let's get to that now the thing about waffles that I have discovered the hard way is you never need as much as you think you do is the issue you always figure like oh this isn't nearly enough but uh, fact of the matter is this is basically cake we're making very American cake for a very American day happy 4th of July everybody is uh, what the deal is so you need to add about as half as much as you think you do because the mix will expand in the maker it will uh, kind of get bigger and you don't want it sloshing over the sides I know I have had it slosh over the sides a couple times, and it's not good. It's not good for anybody or anything. You don't, you don't want that. That's that's not patriotic. Cap, old Steve, he would not appreciate waffles that go off the sides. So, okay, we're just gonna keep filling this one up here like that. I will go back to camera one in a second, and we can take it from there. All right, so we got the waffles working away right now. A lot of waffle work is waiting is the thing. I personally enjoy a crispier waffle. I know some people maybe prefer, you know, a softer, more cakey consistency type one. That's up to you, honestly. And now comes what is arguably my favorite part of Cape Kitchen. That is the part where I get to talk about the theme and character of this episode. In this case, that is Captain America. And Captain America has been making a lot of news in the last little while, both positive and negative. Of course, Civil War ended up being one of the biggest movies of the summer that didn't even start yet. Summer is still technically going on, and Captain America's Civil War was already huge. We, of course, already had uh, Nick Spencer's Steve Rogers, number one. That was a book that had people blowing their, you know, tops all over the place for different reasons, then eventually calming down when you found out that, you know, hey, this big reveal wasn't the big reveal that you 
thought they were. You know, Captain America to me has always been fascinating because almost more than just about any other hero, probably up there right with Superman, he transcends comic books in a way that most comic book characters don't. You know, he is a pop culture icon, and that's a term that people don't use very lightly. And, you know, more than any other character, he truly represents a country. He is a walking, talking flag man. He carries that around the way few characters do, e even more so than Superman. I mean, Superman made news when he renounced his American citizenship uh, a while ago in a store, and he walked across America. But Cap, it seems no matter what he does, it ends up making headlines. Of course, quite famously, at the height of the Bush administration, in the fallout of Civil War, they killed Captain America, which was a very strong political statement that the writers at the time were making. They know as far as they were concerned, Captain America was dead. During Watergate, Captain America uh, threw aside, you know, his American allegiances and became nomad, donning one of the ugliest costumes of all time. And, you know, and that's what he did. And I know during the whole Nick Spencer thing, a lot of people have said, you know, they prefer a Captain America who represents what America can be as opposed to what America is currently. And uh, a book that I know I definitely put off for a while, but it was the Sam Wilson Captain America book. And what's cool about that one is that, you know, you get to see a bipartisan Cap, a Cap actually tackling issues and actually saying important stuff. I put off that book for way too long, but after the big reveal with Kobik and Pleasant Hill and uh, Steve Rogers himself, I definitely wanted to go back and read that book. And I really loved what that book was doing. There was a particular arc near the middle where uh, he becomes Cap Wolf again, a great callback to a classic Cap story where he becomes a werewolf, and he battled uh, the Serpent Society, only they had renamed themselves Serpent Solutions, and they were helping out Wall Street guys with all their crazy Snake Man stuff. That was a good story. If you haven't read that one, I would say check that one out. Okay, so back in Waffle Cam right now, Waffle Cam 2016, hashtag Waffle Cam, TM, uh, we can get a look at these. These smell ready, and that's the thing about these waffles. You can basically smell when they're ready, and oh, yeah, that's most definitely ready to go. So let's try and get this bad boy on a plate, why don't we? And come on, come to daddy, come to daddy, Mr. Waffle. It's really hard to hold the camera and do waffles at the same time, everyone. Please, please respect that. Okay, now it's not a full complete shield. I probably could have put a little bit more mix, but I was worried about screwing this one up the first time, but there you go. Captain America's America Waffle, so shieldy, so beautiful, got all that going on, but you know what? We're actually gonna take this to the next level, because it's not a freedom waffle yet, until you cover it with a bunch of bullshit, and I have a wonderful selection of bullshit for to cover this one. We got ourselves some strawberry syrup, thank you Smucker, Smuckers does not sponsor the show, but if I say them enough, probably they will. Whipped cream, because you gotta get some whipped cream in there, and some nice blueberry syrup. And yes, that's right, it is the red, white, and blue of condiments. So I'm gonna dress this one up in the other camera, and then we're gonna take a nice look at this when it's finished. Okay then, July 4th, America Day, let's dress this one up. Start off with our red, get a nice one around there. Then from there, we move on over to our white, because you gotta get it. And last but most certainly not least, our blue, which in this case is blueberry syrup. Oh yeah, doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look like freedom right there? That looks like freedom and I'm sure it will taste like it too. Let's, uh, let's move again to another camera. We're moving all over the place on Cape Kitchen for our final taste test. Alrighty then, so there we have it everyone. Captain America's Freedom Waffles. Mm, feels so good, feels so patriotic. Makes me want to, you know, I don't know, shoot off some fireworks or something like that. So let's let's actually have a taste here and see what this is like. Again, nice and crispy, the way I like it. You got all the different flavors up in there. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Breakfast of Champions right there. Mmm. That'll make you a super soldier. All that stuff together. You thought it was Miracle Wonder Drugs. Made Steve into a super soldier. Mm-mm was just waffles with shit on it, is what it was. So I guess that'll do it, everyone, for another video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you have a great July 4th. I hope you have a lot of fun. I know I will too, even though it's, hey, it's not, not my holiday, not my country, but whatever. If it's an excuse to make delicious comic book themed waffles, you know I'm gonna take it. So until next time, everyone, I'm Cape Jewel, and this has been Cape Kitchen.
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer? Or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please, by all means, check out the Cape Joel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.